Hey, deserving listeners, this is chapter four in my attachment theory deep dive. In this episode, I'm going to talk about society, culture, I'm going to talk about ethnicity, I'm going to talk about parenting around the globe and how that affects attachment. I'm going to talk about how some attachment styles don't show up in other parts of the world. In fact, the United States tends to have a particular mixture or a presentation of attachment styles that really just don't even exist in other parts of the world. And this was unknown to us at first because we didn't conduct research outside the United States. I'm going to talk about gender and politics and how the culture of texting and our phones are related to attachment figure. I'm going to talk about can can men be uh, just as good as uh, can can be just as good as facilitating attachment as women in early children's lives. I'm going to talk about materialism in our in our society and how that's related. I'm going to briefly talk about the mil- military. I'm going to talk about how bigotry and racism and sexism is are related to attachment insecurity and how that how that is and the theory behind that. Talk about marginalization, bullying. I'm going to talk about conspiracy theories. So there's a lot of connection between conspiracy theories and attachment theory that, you know, why do some people believe in conspiracy theories whereas other people don't? Well, I think attachment theory provides a very cogent explanation as to as to why that happens. So let's get into it. This is the Psychology in Seattle podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Kirk Honda. I'm a therapist and a professor. As with the other chapters in the Attachment Theory Deep Dive, this episode is just for patrons of the podcast. So if you're listening to this and you're not a patron of the podcast yet, this episode will end before the content begins. I think I'm going to talk for at least a couple hours about this. Um, so if you want the full episode along with all the other deep dives, you have to go to patreon.com and become a patron of the podcast. Um, when you become a patron of the podcast, you'll get some swag, you'll get the benefit of knowing we, we donate to charities. We just gave away a $2,000 scholarship to a student who was going to have to drop out of school because she wasn't able to afford her doctorate um, uh, tuition. And so uh, uh, become a patron and know that you contribute to, I think, very wonderful causes like that. So do so now. Go to patreon.com and become a patron so you can listen to the full episode. 